All right, welcome back for a, another tutorial. So this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to insert windows. So we've already done the walls on this project, and you should have done the doors already. So now we're start, ready to start working with the windows. So we've got a window schedule down here. Just a few different types of windows. You'll notice on this one there's a count so of window number one. So number one. We've got five of those. Number two, there's just one, then three, there's four. So we're going to be taking a look at this. So we've got our sizes here, and then we also need to find uh, where we're placing these in the wall. So how far up from level one that we're placing, say, window number one. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to make all the windows at the same height as our doors. So our doors are all six feet, eight inches for the head height. So we're going to make the top of the window at 6 feet 8 for, for all the windows in this house. So also, the Revit PowerPoint that I passed out, this is slide 14. Uh, so there's just a little bit of information on here as far as what we're going to do. So we're going to load a window family. We're going to make a copy of it. We're going to edit the type properties. We're going to insert it. We're going to use those dimensions to get it to go in place where it should be. So where we're going to start is... Since we did door 01 in the last video, let's do these three windows across here. So we've got two of style one and then one of style two. So our first one is going to be a double hung three foot by five foot window. So I'll pop over here to Revit. So we're back over here in Revit. We're on the architecture tab. Before that, just make sure you're on your level one floor plan. So find that floor plan section in your project browser, double click on level one. Architecture tab, go ahead and click on window. And then you'll take a look here under properties and notice that the only window you have is a fixed window. So again, we need to come up here, click on load family. Fix that here to our hard drive under US Imperial. We can find our different windows. So scroll down to the bottom. And in here, we've got a double hung. You have a double hung with trim and without trim. You can use either one. I'm just going to go ahead and click on double hung, click on open. And then once it opens, go ahead and click on properties. And you'll see we don't have a three foot by five foot window. So I'm going to click on one close to it. So I'll select that 36 by 48. Click on edit type. And my product type properties here, I'll click on duplicate. And I'll change this to a 36 by 60. And then put the hyphen SATC at the end of it. Hit OK. In here, I'll go ahead and change my height. Change that height to 5. So it's a 5 foot. So it's a 3 foot by 5 foot window. Everything else there looks good. I'll go ahead and hit OK. And then again, just going to take a look here at this green tab. Um, the only other option I have is to tag on placement. And like I mentioned with doors, we're going to tag them later. So then the only other thing I have in here is I can go ahead and set my head height that we wanted the top of the window to be even with the top of the doors. So we'll set that head height to be six foot eight. You'll notice your sill height changes at the same time. So now we're ready to place these windows. So these were option one. So I'm going to zoom in here. And I'll click a spot there to place that window. And then I'll just come over here and click another spot to place that second window. And then I'll go ahead and hit Escape. And now I need to come back over here to my project. So door number or window number two is a two foot four inch by three foot. So let me go make that one. So back here in Revit. Since I went ahead and hit escape a couple times, I need to restart my window command. So I'll click on window. I'm going to make sure that 36 by 60 is selected. Go ahead and click on edit type. Click on duplicate. And this is a two foot four. So that would make it 28 by 36. I'll take off that two at the end. So I've got a 28 by 36 SATC window. So I'll do that. Come in here for my height. I'll just type a three for my width. I'll go ahead and do two space four since it's a two foot four inch window. Everything else there looks good. I'll go ahead and hit OK. 
that's the window that's currently selected. So I'll move in here and click to place that window in there. And now all I have to do is adjust a few dimensions. So I'll click on that dimension string. So once you've selected these dimensions, now we can start editing those witness lines. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Come in here to my window and go ahead and click to select it. Come on over here to my next couple of windows and click on the centers of those to add those dimensions. And then again, just click out in space somewhere. And now, like I suggested, you can start on one side and work your way across. So I'll start on the left side, select this first window. Once that window is selected, then this text of your dimension will go blue. I want to click on that blue text and make that 10 foot 4. So I'll type 10 space 4 and hit enter. And then just keep working my way across. Looks like my door is in the right spot. I can click on my next window, make that 5, 6. Click on the last window and make that 10 foot. And then just verify that all of those dimensions match the dimensions from this handout that I gave you. And as long as it does, go ahead and work your way all the way around and all the way through this project, matching all these dimensions. And then once you get that done, go ahead and print that off, turn it into me. I want to take a look at it. So at that point, you guys are good on doors and windows. So you can switch back over. Once you're done with this, you can switch over to your project and start putting doors and windows in your project. And I can't wait to see what you guys have accomplished. So thanks again for listening and see you soon.